Hey guys, Tony here from O4G Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional logo in Canva in five minutes. Let's get to it. If you're just starting off a YouTube channel or you want to create a logo for your website or any other social media platforms, Canva is a great tool you can use to actually create a professional looking logo. In this tutorial, I'll, I'll show you how I use Canva to create professional looking logos for myself and what I've used for my clients in the past. So to start off, I mean, under the recommended tab, you'll probably see logo in here somewhere. If you don't, it's just a matter of you typing in the search bar logo and you can choose any of the suggestions just for the sake of creating one now we can start um, with a blank template before you start designing anything I would recommend you going into the resize uh, menu and change the number here from 500 to let's say maybe 1500 Doing this will ensure that your logo will look sharp at any resolution it's printed on or displayed. So once you've done that, just click on resize and you're okay. I mean, this doesn't change, but the resolution will change when you export it. So we can start by just choosing any one of them to start with. Um, let's say for example, we can start with this one here. Okay. So what I like to do is to create variations of this logo right here. So let's assume that this is the name of our company, Zone Connections Inc. And this is their logo, the three triangles. Um, you can, if you want, you can, you know, change the colors one by one. You know, maybe put that purple, this one, um, green, this one can stay, red no something like that and then you choose the color that speaks to your brand and identity and you know you can shape that in any which way you want you can also change the font um, type and the font size to suit what you want to do so before I go ahead and edit anything further I'm gonna duplicate the page so that we can create a variation of the logo in a different format now that we have this here now, what, what we can do is we can group all of this um, together, press the group, and then enlarge this as much as we can within the page, and center it like that. So this, so that we have a large representation of the logo and it's large enough. So this will be a variation which you can put on your website as a banner. The third variation will be just the logo itself. So we're going to delete this, the name of the, of the logo and just group this up again and bring that into the middle and enlarge this as much as possible. One thing to note is when you are exporting this, uh, make sure you choose the transparent background and so that way you can have so, so that all the white spaces in here is not visible. And then when you're happy, just click on download and save it to your desktop. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share and I will catch you on the next video. Take care and God bless.